Hi everyone, Dino here again. First of all, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching all of my travel videos and my language videos, especially this one. I don't know what happened. It had like 5,000 views three weeks ago and now it has over 10,000. Um, so that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching it. I also wanted to thank everyone in Chile for watching that video I made about how to well, how to pronounce the names of Chilean cities and sound like a local. It was meant to be a video for foreigners who wanted to learn how to pronounce them, but for some reason, most of the people that are watching that video are from Chile. So to you, I want to say muchas gracias por ver mi video, por sus comentarios y por darme el dedo para arriba, se lo agradezco demasiado. But anyway, in this video, what I'll do now is I'll try and teach you some slang words that we use in Chile. Chilean Spanish is pretty much slang words, like slang after slang. Slang after slang after slang after slang. So yes, if you are going to Chile and you know some Spanish, it's still very good to learn some of the slang just because we use it a lot in Chile. So let's begin. In this video I will teach you 10 slang words that are really common in Chile and by using them you will also impress other Chileans, so they're good to know. So, slang word numero uno. A mermelado. Of course, that's how you would say it if you were speaking in, you know, proper Spanish. But this is Chile. We speak Spanish a little bit differently, just for fun. So it's actually pronounced a mermelado. If you're saying this to a guy, it's a mermelado. A mermelado. But if you're saying it to a girl, it's a mermela. A mermela. So the word basically comes from the word marmalade, but it has nothing to do with it. So basically, if you're calling someone a mermelao or a mermela, it's a soft way of telling them they're stupid, dumb, or silly. It's a soft word, so it's, it's not a bad word, so you can say it. Not many people use it, I think, or not many older people use it. It's mainly children that use it, but you can still learn it. It's fun. So it's a as in a. Mer, as in Mercury, Mer. And you know the, um, the R sound at the end. Again. Again, just imagine you're a cat and you're purring, so. Mer. Me, as in Mexico, and Lao, as in the country. Numero two, al tiro. I'm not really sure where this one comes from, but it's related to someone firing a gun. So basically, if you say you'll do something al tiro, it means you'll do it straight away. So say you're waiting for a friend to come over to your house, um, you call that friend and you say, are you coming? Are you coming soon? Are you coming anytime soon? And they say, voy al tiro. Voy to go, al tiro, straight away. So, voy al tiro. It means straight away. You'll do something straight away. Al tiro. Al, as in algorithm. Ti, as in tikka masala. Do, as in... Do, rom, 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 ro, do. I don't think there's a word in English that has the do sound. Oh yeah, yeah, there is. There is! Okay, instead of saying, I don't know, if you say, I don't know, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's the sound, that's the sound, that's the same sound. Al tiro, al tiro. Number three. To be honest, this is probably the most important slang word in Chile. It's probably the number one slang word you should know. Like, if, even if you don't speak any Spanish, if you go to Chile, you should learn this one. And that word is bacán. But again, that's how you're supposed to say it if you were speaking proper Spanish. Again, we're in Chile, so it's pronounced bacán. Not ba, but va, bacán. Pretend you're a rabbit. Obviously, it's, it, it's subtle, it's not bacán, bacán. And it's very simple, it means cool, awesome, amazing, yeah, all right, wow! Va, as in Valencia, can, as in can-can. Bacán, 
So for example, it can be something like Hey, I'm going to Chile, the best country in South America next week. No, but <sighs> Number four, cachai. Si, sí, si, sí, cacho. No, no, cacho. Cachai is probably one of the most Spanglish words we have in Chile, I believe. It comes from English, to catch, and it means do you understand? As in, do you catch what I'm saying? Do you understand? And you can say, si, sí, si sí, cacho. Yeah, I understand. Or, no, no cacho. Nope, I don't get it. So it's ca as in California, chai as in chai latte. Cachai? 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 Cachai or no? Number five, carrete. This is also one of the most important Chilean slang words, so you should definitely learn this one. Carrete, I think, I think it comes from wheelbarrow, but I can't really see the connection between wheelbarrow and the actual meaning of carrete. So carrete is pretty much a party. If someone is inviting you to a carrete, it's a party. If someone says to you, vamos a carretear, Let's go to carretear. It means let's go to party. Let's go party. You know, it's 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 a pretty important word to know. So you go to a carrete, you go to carretear, and when you are at the carrete, you are carreteando. And the next day you say last night I carreteé. There's a lot of R rolling, but if you can roll your R's, it should be really easy. So it's K again like California. Re as in Republic, te as in tequila, carrete, carrete. Numero six, and six, I think this is how Chinese people do six with their hands. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, this one might not be that important, but it's a good one to know, you know. Chalas, so it's a really, really soft S at the end, chala, chala. Chalas is sandals, flip flop, Songs, any of those. Chalas. So if you go to the beach, make sure you take your chalas. So it's pronounced cha as in cha cha cha, las as in Las Vegas. But again, the S at the end is very soft. Number seven, I think. Yep, seven. Copucha. Copucha. A lot of people do this, especially in Chile, I think. There are TV shows just about copucha. Copucha is pretty much gossip. So you can say to someone, hey, I have a copucha for you. So that's co like Colombia, pu like push up, and cha as in Charmander, copucha. Number eight, fome. Fome is a really easy one. It simply means that something is boring or that you're boring. So for instance, if someone asks you what you're doing tonight and you say you're going to the movies and that's boring, they can say, oof, that's fome. Que fome? How fome? How boring? Or on the other hand, you can call someone fome. Like if they don't want to do anything tonight, you can call them, wow, you are fome. Que fome it is? How boring are you? And really easy. For as in forever, me as in medusa, for me. Number nine is pololo or polola. This one is a true Chilean slang term and it means boyfriend and girlfriend. Pololo, boyfriend, polola, girlfriend. Po as in police, lo as in loco, lo as in loco again if it's for a guy, and la as in Las Vegas if it's for a girl. Pololo, polola. Number 10, plata. Plata. Plata is pretty much money. The actual Spanish word for money is dinero, but to be honest, I don't think I have ever used that word when I'm talking about money, ever. If I'm talking about money or if someone is asking me for money in Chile, we use plata, not dinero. So this one's a really important one to know as well. Plata literally means silver, so it's sort of related. And that's pla as in plaza, ta as in Tanzania, plata. And that was... I'll be back. And that was today's video. Thank you so much for watching my third video under my learning with Dino section. I hope you learned some slang words that you can use in Chile. You will definitely impress them if you use them, so go ahead and do it. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And also for my Chilean friends, muchas gracias por ver el video. Si les gustó, den el dedo para arriba. También ayúdenme, suscríbanse, compartan el video si les gustó. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. See you next time. Goodbye. If you haven't seen my other videos, you can click here or here. Goodbye.